Good? So this is a demonstration project for MAE 535. This is uh, Dr. Buckner's design of electromechanical systems at North Carolina State University. Today we're going to be talking about how an ignition coil works. An ignition coil is can be thought of as a uh, transformer that has a primary and a secondary coil. The primary coil is generally has low resistance and the secondary coil has higher resistance and more turns. So these coils are actually wound around the same uh, iron core. And so when a current is induced in the primary coil from hooking it up to, say, a 12-volt battery on a car, it produces a magnetic field through that coil. When the current is turned off on this coil, the magnetic field collapses. And when that magnetic field collapses in the secondary coil, that creates a very, very large voltage spike in the secondary coil, generally in the order of 10 to 40,000 volts, or excuse me, 10,000 to 40,000 volts, which is enough to jump a spark gap of about one centimeter, one millimeter. So today we're actually going to be looking at uh, this demo that I have here and set up so that um, we have an ignition coil from a car here. We have uh, 200 or 120 volts coming into the uh, outside here, coming it run into a power supply down here that converts the 120 down to about 19 volts or so. Um, then it's run from there up to through a switch that controls basically we can control the current coming into the uh, coil to the primary side of the coil through this switch on the top here, and then it runs in. Uh, into the primary coil here and then out of the primary coil on the other side and when it comes out of the primary coil it comes through runs through this uh, ballast resistor which effectively limits the amount of current that can come through the coil because the coil has about this coil has about 0.6 ohms um, so if we put 19 volts on that we'd be pushing 30 something amps which would blow this thing out so it comes through the ballast resistor which keeps it from pulling too much current and then runs up to the uh, power supply. So we have effectively a loop coming from the power supply through the coil up to uh, the switch for the primary side. Then the high side or the secondary side, what comes out of this top here, is connected up to the terminal on the top here. It comes out here and then this other side is connected to ground again. So what we should see is when we take and plug this thing up, and we have box close here. When we plug this thing in and we push this switch down, it should energize the coil. And then when we release the switch, that's going to effectively uh, turn off the current to the primary side, and we should get that high voltage spike. And then we should see a voltage. Uh, we should be, see a jump across these terminals here. We should be able to see a spark. So let's uh, see if that actually happens. Plug this thing in here. So I've got my 120 volts coming in. It's always nice to see the light come on. Um, turn this on here. So this actually puts power into my switch, but the switch is closed right now, so it's not on. So if I, if I push this switch down, I'm energizing the primary coil, and then when I release it, I see the spark jump there. I'll do that again for you. And we'll do it one more time. So you notice that, like I said, when you press down the coil, it's energizing, but when you release it, that's when you see the high voltage spike on the top here. So, And that's how generally an ignition coil works from a very elementary standpoint. Thank you.